Hi, I'm Infrol Mantis, and throughout the years of my life, I've been pretty mischievous. <laughs> and because of that, I've caused quite a few problems. Wait, so you're saying if I push this button, a horde of cyborg zombies would be unleashed and may bring about the end of the world? Is that really such a bad thing? I guess there's only one way to find out. But I've also learned how to fix them, and that's why I make these how-to tutorials so you won't have to make the same mistakes that I did. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe today. Thank you. Good morning, evening, night, depending on where you're watching from. From Mantis here, and today we have a very interesting topic. Today's topic is about a situation that many kids, even adults, can find themselves in. It's the kind of situation that once it becomes a reality, it can be very easy to feel trapped and hopeless, thus making the situation last much longer than it should. Today's topic is about dealing with bullies. Since bullies are so common in today's society, it's very important that you know how to deal with them when they choose to make you their new target. That's why today I'm going to tell you some steps you can follow to deal with bullies properly. So let's begin with step 1, which is... Step 1. Try to avoid and ignore the bully. There's some people in this world that are just impossible to rationalize with, and typically bullies are these kinds of people. The bullies, the bigger the reaction they could get out of the people that they pick on, the better. By reacting to a bully, you're getting them something to build on, a reason to continue what they're doing, since they're getting what they want by doing it. Although talking back to a bully may seem like a good idea in your mind, it can actually make the problem much worse. Avoiding and ignoring the bully is the best first step you could take, as typically bullies have short attention spans and if they don't get some sort of reaction out of you, they should get bored pretty quick and move on. But if that doesn't work, don't worry, it's time to move on to the next step, which is... Step 2. Ask your friends for help. Now when I say ask your friends for help, I don't mean ask your friends to fight this bully for you, as we're trying to avoid violence of any kind while you get rid of this bully. Rather, simply ask your friends to be there with you. By being there with you, it's going to make this bully think twice. Since people are much harder to pick on when they're with their friends and alone, this is going to cause the bully to wait for a more opportune moment. But if you're consistently with your friends when this bully comes around, this opportune moment will never manifest. And hopefully, since the bully will never get a chance to pick on you, they'll get bored and move on. But if your bully has the nerve to pick on you when you're with your friends, don't fret. Simply move on to the next step, which is... Step 3. Talk to someone with the authority to help you. Now, I know what you may be thinking, that if you talk to someone with the authority to help you, such as a teacher or a parent, that the situation is going to become much worse. What you need to realize here is that you can't solve every single problem on your own, especially on the first try. So talk to the authoritative figure about it really is the best solution. Don't look at it as a side weakness, as some problems, such as bullying, really do take more strength to talk about than to try to solve on your own. So before the situation gets out of hand, talk to an authoritative figure that can help you. I really hope this guide helps you guys out. Good luck, and for all mantis, out.